I think this is how my toodles. Hey, toodles. It is Friday, and usually I do a Friday thing. But today I'm doing a palette collection. I've been seeing so many people do palette collections, declutter palettes, do palette collection. So if I see a palette I may not want, I may declutter it. I don't know. We'll see. But to get this started off, <clears throat> this is in Project Pan. I've been using this in my makeup um, this week. I probably will use this again for the reason. Um, as you noticed, today I was using this color. I panned it. I have this little container. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in Shop My Stash again this week again when I do my Shop My Stash for tomorrow. And I'm going to scrape out the colors that had been panned. And I'm going to put them all in here when all this is gone. So I have it in here. And that will be for that. But I do like this concealer, but it's fast and easy to pan. Because there's not a lot of product in it. But for $2, you can't go wrong. And it's cheap. So if you're like starting out with makeup, go on Wish. And you can buy this off of Wish. And it'll start you out. And you'll have different shades of concealer to try out on your face. The next one is the Ultimate Radiant um, Palette. If you watched my video yesterday, you'll see where it showed that I panned this. This is not even in Project Pan, and I panned it. Anytime I pan a product, I get happy because it shows me I'm using it. And I do sometimes take makeup up to my husband's I see. I'm using makeup. It's panning. I'm using it. And I've had this for how many years now? And look, it's panning. So, you know, I'm happy about stuff like that. Even then he says, oh, you don't use up, you got all this makeup and you're not using it. But, yeah, I've been buying more makeup. Don't get me wrong, I buy makeup, but I'm using some up. I'm learning now I need to do Project Pan and start panning things. And if I get something that's panned and I, and it's, say, you know, not finished by the end of the year, then I'll either throw it away or I will clean it out and put it in other things like this. Like this, I'll make it a whole thing with concealer. So if I got like any other concealers I can put in there, <clears throat> you know, and have different concealers to use on my face. This is the Mothership by Pat McGrath. I love the Pat McGrath palettes. They are so gorgeous. I've been using this palette a lot. I have been using a lot of colors. I am been using this color here, this color here, this color here, and I've been using this color. So I'm gonna shade. I'm gonna shade. Yeah, I'm going to shade. I'm going to swatch. And this color here, I think, might be pan before you know it. Because it really feels like I really made a depth, 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 depth in it. So. And I'm very. I started out when I started using this palette. I started using the brown. Was the color I used first. Because that's what I wanted. But these are the colors that. I have been using with this palette, the Mothership palette. That brown is gorgeous. All these colors are so gorgeous. And like I said, that one feels like it may end up being pan. And if I pan that palette up, they'll be like, okay, you know what color I've been using the most. That's how you can tell when somebody's got an eyeshadow palette and they pan it like this one, How to Nude Your Eyes by Essence. When I got this palette, yes, it is in my project pan. I panned that shade and you could tell when you pan a shade in a palette that's the shade that the person mostly reached for and I think this one right here is going to be panned next because I can feel a big dip in it and I do like that shade and I have been using it a lot I started out with this palette I started using every shade in here I did eye looks with this palette I was so static to have this palette I I've seen so many people with this. When I started out makeup being, you know, doing YouTube videos, a lot of people had this palette. Oh my God, I had to have it. And now I, it's in Project Pan and I pan a shade. And I'm very excited. I'm hoping to have another shade in that palette pan before the end of this year, which I have a feeling I will. <clears throat> another palette I have, I used this one yesterday because it was Valentine's Day. I'm going out to dinner tonight with my husband. So, for Valentine's Day, because he had to work, and by the time he gets off of work, most of the restaurants around here are usually closed up. So, I love these palettes. These palettes are very affordable and cheap on... I've seen this palette. I have the purple palette like this, and I saw it on Amazon 
when I was looking on Amazon this morning, doing some stuff on Amazon, $4.99 for the palette, and I only paid $3 for this palette. You know, $4.99 plus shipping, and this was like, with shipping, this is $3. It's a dollar plus $2 shipping, all total is $3 for this little palette. Not bad at all. It is flimsy, it is cardboard, it's styrofoam cardboard, it is flimsy. But, you know, just look at the colors. And these two colors I had on my eyelids yesterday, I'll go ahead and swatch them. If you watched yesterday's video that I did, you will see that I swatched these two colors. Them two colors are so gorgeous. And that's what I had on my eyelids yesterday. And it's, it didn't come off, this palette stays on your eyes all day long. I used them two colors on my eyes and my eyes were not off. My eyes were perfect. They were gorgeous. And I'm like, oh my god, I love that palette. So, since next month's coming, I'll probably be using one of them palettes for my half of my month. Because I want to put them in a little thing. I want to have them for that. So, that's pretty good. Come over here. Got some more palettes here. This is the Ulta Beauty. It's a blush and bronzer. Or br blush and highlighter. No, blush and bronzer. You have pink blush and mate bronzer. So these are actually pretty to do. And this is something that I wouldn't mind putting in Project Pan as well next year. You can tell I do use it. It is so dirty. I've sat here and wiped it with makeup wipe. Like I'm doing now, and I've tried to clean it. It just would not come clean. But this isn't a bad little palette. This is a good palette for traveling. And I do use it, but I've also thought about um, putting it in for traveling. So I have a blush and a bronzer in my traveling bag. But I really don't travel that much. We don't, you know, go out and travel and do travel things that much. But it's not bad for that. Then, of course, you know how much I love sleek. My sleek blush palette. Oh my god. I have not panned this yet. I have not even made pan. But this is the one I used the, a lot of. The one in the middle. This one here. I love it. Look how gorgeous that shade is. That is so gorgeous. It's shimmery and gorgeous. Let me show you the other shades here. They are gorgeous. The other shades are gorgeous as well. But that's the one in the middle is the one that I gravitate. This one right here. That's the one that I gravitate to most out of this palette. And I would love to just have that one in a single shade. And I would get rid of the palette if I had that in a shing single shade. Okay. And then I have here my Beauty Glaze highlighter. Y'all know how much I rant and rave about these highlighters. I did pan this one. And I have a feeling more is going to get panned. But this thing is like so filthy. I mean, this is another one that I tried cleaning. And it is filthy. You can tell by the one that I panned here. This one's getting close to getting panned. This one's not really, but... This one is getting close to getting panned. This is pants, and I've always wore this shade. And it's cotton candy cream. So, the cotton candy cream is right there. It's gorgeous. These are some gorgeous shades. I think they are also getting, like, dried up, too, as well. Because I think they do dry up kind of fast, Beauty Glaze. But I do love, and you have here, this one is, um, the next one I'm doing is Salted Caramel, which is right here. And then you have French Vanilla. As well, which is right there. So... Oh, now you look at it, and ah, it doesn't show pan, but I did pan it. It's panned right there, but, but now it's showing not pan, but that's okay. All right. All right. 
this video may be in two parts or it may be a long video I don't know because I do as you can tell right now I have a lot of palettes another highlighter palette this is my BSY highlighter palette I have wanted to get rid of this palette and then I was like nah because my son bought me this palette this shade here I know is going to be pan soon one of these shades yeah this one shade here in the middle comes out but this shade here is one of the shades that I use a lot in my palette it is like really gorgeous highlighter that is so gorgeous I love stuff like that using these wet oh my god I did a look one day and was just playing around with my makeup and I got these wet and used it wet and they were gorgeous they were so pretty wet. I'll go ahead and swatch them all for you real quick and let's just see what they all look like. They have the names of them, but um, these two colors right here are the ones I use the most. I just, when I felt that, I felt a dip in it, which that is in the shade glamour and the shade glistening and there's all the shades swatched on my hand glamour and glistening are gorgeous shades I definitely love them shades and you can use this one I've used it on my eyelids as well I've used them on my eyes as well and perfect all right let me put this back another okay another one I have is my sleek I should have put this one in project pan because I've already panned two shades but like I said in the beginning I think I said at the very beginning of this video I'm going to take any of them because this one's almost pan right here too that look like this and I'm automatically going to put them in project pan next year any of them that has been panned, it's got a little product. If they're not used up, I will be putting them in my project pan as well. I don't care for liquid highlighters, but I did use my liquid highlighter in here first. And it was like the first one to go. I was shocked to see it go. These two shades. This is Sleek. And I do love Sleek makeup. I am a huge Sleek makeup fan their products are gorgeous the bomb i do love their products as well i have um beauty glaze highlighter where you get two highlighter palettes i think it's on wish and i'm like i gotta get that okay bring in some more palettes over here to go through I have this one is not in my makeup collection at all but this is makeup revolution I love this palette I did pan it I love this palette so much for 10 bucks this is ten dollars at Ulta and when I bought this palette I bought this palette for a girl I did a swamp with Bridget I bought the same palette for her as I bought for me and I'm like oh my god I love the mirror I'm gonna admit the mirror is dirty yes and it has a nice big mirror and I even told myself when this palette is gone I was gonna keep this just because of the mirror and put the mirror in my my traveling bag when I do use this and then I thought about buying another one of these and keeping it in my traveling bag but I'm not going to then I even thought about doing makeup for on people's faces and stuff and do a makeup artist? No, I'm like, mm, nah. So I decided now nah, on that one as well. Then, of course, I have this is in Project Pan, trying to pan it. This is the Broadway Powder Cheek Palette. I did the highlighter first. The highlighter was nice. These are blushes, okay? And I can't tell you what blush that I thought I would pan first. If I'd say any, it would have to be this one here, probably. But these are some nice blush colors if you're really into that type of thing. 
there's the blushes they kind of feel kind of they don't no they're still soft but they're gorgeous if you're into stuff like this they are gorgeous blushes that's in my project pan this is in project pan this is the la color contour palette and you do notice i did was shocked that i already panned one shade out of this already was so staticky when i did it so i'm excited on that one that's in my project pan as well for my other highlighter here i have the sobbing genius um sobbing genius by nyx i love this palette 15 dollars i paid for this palette no the original price was $15. I paid 7 bucks for this palette at Walgreens when they had it on sale. And I don't think they have... I don't know if they make this palette anymore or sell this palette. I'm not really for sure. But it is in my collection. And I do love the palette. This shade here is the one... This is a shade here. This one in this corner shade. I'm not going to swatch them all. This shade here and this corner shade is the ones that I think are the most ones that I think. And there, there they are here. I think they're going to be the ones that's going to get panned. I think they will get panned before. I think they will get panned. I think I will pan these shade, them two shades before any of the other shades because those are the two that I mostly reach for, especially the one in the, the first one I showed you in the middle is the one I reach for the most. There's another highlight. I bought this at five below. I seen it. It was four bucks. I was like, yeah, I can't pass that price up. Four dollars? Yeah, I can't pass it up. But I definitely, the two colors that I use the most, the most color I like is this one and it is Eclipse. And I know that this shade here is going to be the first one that gets panned. I really don't care too much for this palette at all. Um, the two I use, I will show you. Those are the two that I use, which is Eclipse and Eclair. I mean, not Eclair. Ecl Opal and Eclipse. Opal is this one. Eclair is this one. The purple and the red and the orange one, which is rose gold and prism. I do not use them. I don't use them shades at all. It's not that I can't stand the shades. It's just that I do not use them. Those are shades I do not use at all. My most favorite, favorite palette of all times. I'm actually going to show you besides my Pat McGrath now. This is my BH Cosmetic palette. I was so excited to get the BH Cosmetics um, Contour and Blush Palette number two. I do want to get all other blush palettes. I do like BH Cosmetic blushes. Look how big this is. When I got this, I was like, holy crud. Hello. Look how gorgeous these are. And look how big they are. Now, this one here. And this one here, okay, I'm just going to swatch them two, the blush and that contour. Those are the two I know that I just swatched out of here are the ones that will be panned, I think, before any of the other ones at all. I need to start reaching for it more, but I don't, but I really need to. Alright, I've done some of them. I'm going to make this probably in a two-part video maybe. Let me, let me get some more. Alright, let me get these right here. I have some more palettes. I've got tons of palettes. Here is another one. This is in Project Paint as well. And this is my Sleek palette. And as you can tell, this shade's going to be panned. And this shade will be panned. And probably this shade because those are the three shades that I use the most. Um, 
those three shades are the ones that I use the most. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you real quick. And there they are. Those are the ones I use the most. So, those are some that I know that I think will be pans before any other ones. Give me a second. I have to put that. That's my project pan basket. And I kind of need this area. This is another one that's in pan. Project pan. And it is the Milani. It's a nice one. This is the one right here. I think will be pan before any of the other colors. Because I know I use that one a lot. I do use the gold. This gold one here. I do use it too. But I do, I do um, gravitate towards a lot of tan and browns on my eyes too. Today I'm wearing the blue, blue green. And you'll probably see, I'll probably show you later what I did on my eyes for this look. Okay, the next one in Project Pan. I put this one in Project Pan because when I dropped it, two shades fell out. But I don't really, this blue shade here, I'm not going to swatch them all. This blue shade is one of them that I know. And this is the LA Color Fancy Palette. I do know that one is one that I do gravitate more into this um, palette. I need to get another, another wipey. See how dirty this one is? Wipe it. Let me get a clean wipe. Let me put this, and as you can tell... Anything that has a sticker on it, I'll tell you, and it is in Project Pan. Okay, let me get another wipey here. And then I have another one here. This is in Project Pan, and I'm actually probably going to use it today when we go out to eat. This is actually by Beauty Treats. It's a cream blush palette. Okay. I'm not really into creamy blushes, but... I was using this for lips, and I know this one will be pan first because it's what I've been using for a lip product when I do gravitate towards it. It is a creamy blush, but I've been using it as a lip palette, so I'm going to set it right there. Okay, and that is not a bad little shade for your lip. Then I have two Juvia's Place palettes. I have three of them. Um... I got the Zulu palette, but um, the thing got wet, the cardboard, so I panned all the colors. The brown one is in this little thing, and then I have on my vanity the yellow one that came in the Zulu palette. But this right here, this is in Project Pan as well, this shade, and the shade I wanted to have panned before the end of this year. So you can tell, this shade here is going to be panned, and this one here will be panned. And this is panned. And what I don't pan out of this... I'm going to give this to my stepdaughter and let her use it in her her makeup and stuff. I have the Nubrian palette by Juvia's. My very first Nubian new my very first Juvia's place palette was this one. <clears throat> and as you can tell, I use I love this shade here. I used it a lot. This is my favorite shade out of the palette. I'm gonna swatch it. I have another shade that is like that color. That's like a copper color. And I love that shade so much. That shade is gorgeous. And it's what I mostly use out of this palette. Besides this one right here. And I do use that one. I just, I just love this palette so, so, so much. When I first got this palette, I was constantly using it. I did every shade in here. A look everything with this and i love 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 that palette <clears throat> my son bought me this one this is the saharan palette by juvia's these got wet these are wet so but as you can tell i've been using this palette a lot too and i've been using this color here this color here and this blue shade here and this pink shade here these are the colors that i've been out of this palette that I have used a lot of and those are the colors I use a lot of so that is that all right I'm gonna go ahead and make this in two parts so let me 
get my hand swatched. I've got two more palettes I'm going to show you and then I'm going to do put this in two parts. So I'm going to give this video a thumbs up if you like declutter videos. I mean, if you like videos like this, give it a hoorah thumbs up. If you don't, give it a hoorah thumbs down. I really don't care. This is my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I've been I saved up money to get this palette. I definitely do love this palette as you can tell the color here that I use a lot of. I love that shade and I've been using it a lot and I know that's the shade that probably out of this pan this palette will be panned first. Then I have another palette my son bought me. This is a BSY peach palette. They do have another number two palette and I do want to get it. And I definitely definitely love this palette as well. This red shade, this shade, and this orange shade. I'm just going to swatch these three shades right here. They are gorgeous. Definitely loving this palette. Alright guys, so give me a few minutes and I'll be right back and I'll start on part two. Mwah.